Hello, it's the IT guys here, and today, in Microsoft Word 2013, we're going to be having a look at pictures. So, to start off with, there's a couple of different ways of inserting a picture into Word. You can always copy and paste, however the way I recommend doing it is coming to the Insert tab of the ribbon, and then either choosing a picture on your computer, or searching for pictures online. If you search for pictures online, you can either use your personal OneDrive if you have pictures stored there, or you can use an image search with Bing. I'm going to use a picture off my computer, so click on pictures, and I'm going to use this one here, but you may have to navigate to where your picture is saved. Click on the picture you want to insert, then click on insert. Now, you might be wondering why it's so difficult to align this picture where I want it. That's because of the wrap text settings. When you first insert a picture, it has the setting of inline with text. However, we are going to change this. We're coming to wrap text under the picture tools format tab on the ribbon. Select it. Now I'm going to choose square. Whether you can use square, tight, through are generally good ones to choose. Behind the text and in front of text will let you do this, where text can be placed over the top of it, and you can select it anywhere. But I'm going to use square. I'm also then going to be able to drag and position my, my picture where I choose, and the text will not overlap with it and move around my picture. I'm now going to resize my picture, so drag the boxes that appear on this edge until it's the desired size. Using the boxes in the corners will keep the picture's aspect ratio, so keep it in the same scale. I'm going to reposition it to here and resize it like so. You can also crop pictures if you want to remove any unwanted borders or edges on the picture. In the picture tools format tab of the ribbon, come to crop, click on it, and these black boxes will appear. You can then drag them and it will then crop your picture to the area that is remaining coloured. So if I wanted to make it roughly square like this, then I can. Then click off your picture and it will have applied the crop. You can also have artistic effects, colour corrections and other options for your picture. What I'm going to do is I'm going to apply an artistic effect. I'm going to go with just a normal one. I'm going to change its colour. I'm going to go with this black with a red arrow, like so. And I'm going to make it a bit sharper and a bit brighter, like this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the black background from this image. Come to remove background, then reposition the size of the box, like so. If you want to have areas removed that aren't already removed, come to mark areas to remove, and draw a line where you want the area to be removed. There's parts of the image that are being deleted that you wish to keep visible. Click mark areas to keep and draw a line on the area that you want to keep. Anything in purple is going to become invisible and anything that you can still see in colour will be kept. Now click on keep changes and now if I drag this, if I make this in line with text, so I put in front of text and drag it over, you can see that the background has been removed. Finally, I'm going to show you how to apply borders to your picture. Come to picture border, pick a colour and choose its weight and line style. Like so. There's also many other options you can choose from, such as ovals, circles, and different frames and borders. 
I'm going to choose this one in a red. That's all we've got to show you on pictures in Microsoft Word. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment. But for now, thanks for watching. Goodbye.